Singh and you're watching One Heart Live. I hope you're enjoying the show so far because we are maybe enjoying it a little too much, huh? Uh, our special guests on the hot seat this week are Maxi Priest and my new honey, General <laughs> Levy. Yes. Uh, and of course, we got some of our fantastic chefs who've been yeah. in so far. Uh, we've had Anthony Cumberbatch, we've had Shivy uh, Ratnamore in here as well. And uh, we've had White Men Can't Jerk. And now, how about this? Okay, so is this the dish now that's gonna get me married? That's what I wanna know. Yes, of course. This is the dish. Hey, that really gets I'm gonna get married. Okay, so go on, because everybody's gonna get this inside again, my goodness. Yeah, so we're gonna just finish with the coconut and bailey foam, just like that. And this is what I add basically a fragrance to the dish of coconut and bailey foam. And that's it, finished. And that's it. Oh, oh and then and then they're gonna go inside, they're gonna get and what we're doing here. And then all we're going to finish with is pouring the volute like this. Beautiful. And now that's going to go inside with you guys again. But I'm going to come and eat some too a bit later. We'll see you back soon. We're all going, what, what is it? What is it? Uh, Jason will be in in just a few moments. Uh, what do you guys think of the look of that? Because you were saying before the other I'm cuisine like, was quite pretty. Yeah. But that looks very delicate, doesn't that it? That looks yeah. very delicate. It looks very small. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to fight my over gosh. it, does it? That looks like it's not going to fill my belly. It's not going <laughs> to do much. It's not going to make much of an impact. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Oh, but, but it's taste, it's about taste. It's always about taste. Yes. Uh, something else that's all about taste are the national foods of our islands. Let's yes. take a look at this, you're yes. going to love it. Dominica, Kalalu and Mountain Chicken. Kalalu soup was a favourite of the African slaves and remains a favourite right here in Dominica and the Caribbean at large. It is a combination of leaves such as spinach or dasheen mixed in with seasoning, provisions, meat and coconut milk. Mountain chicken was the last national dish. Dominican Republic, Sancocho and Lambandera. This soup contains vegetable or ground provisions such as yams, yucca and potatoes with a variety of meats. Trinidad and Tobago, crab and kalalu. This dish is often served with cornmeal cuckoo, plantain, cassava, sweet potatoes, dumplings and curried crab. Bahamas, cracked conch with rice and peas. Conch is a large type of ocean mollusk that has firm white peach fringed meat. It could be eaten uncooked with lime juice and spices and could be deep fried, steamed, added to soups, salads and stews or made into conch chowder and conch fritters. Our next chef is a man on a mission. His mission is to become the first Caribbean chef to get a Michelin star, cooking Caribbean food. Uh, looking at the food, I can totally see why. Let's give it up for Jason Howard with us. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my lovely. Uh, thank you for being out in the cold for us for a little while. Uh, no problem, no problem at all. But you've just... done an amazing job here. Can you tell us about it? So we want to know how to fight over it. Um, first of all, what is this in these glasses? Um, in, in the glasses, we have a coconut and sweet potato velouté. And on top, mm -hmm. you can just see the foam. That is a bay leaf and coconut foam that adds, uh, what I would say, like a fragrance to the soup. That just oh, wow. carries it a bit higher. So it's coconut? Sweet potato. Yes, coconut, sweet potato, and bay leaf. And bay leaf. Oh, nice. Yeah. What do you think of that, Maxi? Oh. In general? It looked look <clears throat> interesting. Do you want to have a sip? Shall we go for it? Yes. Definitely. Bottoms up? Yeah, salute. salute Bottoms salute, up? Salute. So there you go. Salute. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is nice. But mm. it's, it's too small. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> So yeah. would we actually have this as a starter or just some kind of a parity? Yeah, or? we can have it. It's mostly for a starter. Just uh, like mostly we will serve this in the, um, the fall around this time and outside it's cool, you know, mm. and going into winter. So yeah, very I like, nice. I like the blend. That is really nice, isn't it? I like the blend. Okay, so tell us about what's in the plate itself. In the plate is the volute and the foam. And also there's caramelized sweet potato. So the caramelized sweet potato, I caramelize the sweet potato with some honey and some clement. Clement is a, is a, um, Clement is a, something like a spirit, but is also oh, infused really? with nutmeg. So uh, basically. That's uh, alcohol in this. No, 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 there's no alcohol. It's, 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 some, <laughs> it's, not, it's not, it's not like a spirit. Shame, bro. It's, <laughs> it's more, we were hoping it's, they were. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into uh, cooking then? I got into cooking by chance. I didn't actually really 
I don't want to say care for it, but I didn't actually want it to be a chef. Oh. Yeah, so I was a porter, you know, young, being young, you just want to, you just want to run around and have fun. And I used to see the chefs doing the thing and I used to be, um, you know, I can do the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. And one day I just took the leap and went and do, did my first dish and I got ripped to shreds by my chef. And after service and stuff, he called me and he said, but you, you did the dish, you executed the dish quite, quite well. Mm -hmm. And it started from there onwards. But, you know, sometimes you believe in coincidence. It was always my father's dream to be an international chef oh. and leave the island, but he never got to do it. So just so by luck, so by chance, I am living my father's life. That's amazing. Oh, that's, everyone's yeah, going, oh, yeah, yeah. we like that. Yes, we love yes, that. Yes, that is yes, amazing. Yes, yes. So what is your signature dish? Is it this or is it something else? Um, my signature dish is something else, which is jerk chicken, but how I did it, I call it refined jerk. My mum used to, my grandmother used to stuff the jerk inside the chicken the day oh. before, and I always found it, it was so lovely. So when I do my jerk chicken, I put the seasoning inside the, the chicken breast and I leave it for, for a day in the fridge. And I don't have to season it, I don't season it or anything. The, the seasoning just seeps through the meat. So when you bite into it, you can taste all the jerk, you can taste the flavor and it's mm. not that intense hot because I make my own jerk seasoning and I, sit, I leave it to sit for a month. So that oh, wow, is. okay. You're from Barbados? Yes, Barbados. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. a BG. So you don't put nothing on, on the outside of the chicken, you put it all on the inside and let it all come true. When it's cooking, it, it ferments. It comes out yeah. because I think that jerk seasoning is, is a bit mis is a bit misinterpreted, and you know, and putting it on the outside, it is such a versatile seasoning. You just have to put it inside, and whatever it comes in contact with, yeah. it seasons, and it is just it's just amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, we really hope that you get that Michelin star. We really do, don't we? No, Supporting you all the way. And uh, where can we actually find your food? Where can we come and eat this? Because uh, my new honey has to take me on a date, and I like posh yeah, so stuff. Yeah. Nice um, for right now, I'm opening my. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm sorry, sorry, Jessica. <laughs> uh, you caught me off guard, also. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have you got a book? No, I don't have a book. I don't have any books as yet. But I, I have. I have. I have a restaurant, and the restaurant will be opening in mid October. Mid October. Where is right. that? Is um in Docklands. It's opening in the Docklands, oh, wow. and we're going to be opening first. Caribbean restaurant, basically not Caribbean restaurant, but the first fine dining Caribbean restaurant oh. to that extent that as the food as you can see in front right of you. Right up my yeah. street. That sounds yeah, amazing. Right What's it going to be called? Right now we're just fighting over the names. I think okay. we just need to put names in a hat and just you pick can one. Call, you can call it the Honeys, the Honeys restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Name it after us. The Honeys. You know what I mean? This is a bit awkward for Maxi. And, and, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. And, and, and the best man, the best man. The best man, this is the best man, the best man. He's name. married me <laughs> off already. Yeah. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for being here. Would you do the food for our wedding? Yes. Of course. And the Christian? Of and the Christian? Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm more interested in the Christian. I'm more of, of a course. Christian. I'm more of a Christian man myself. Of <laughs> You. I cannot do with you. Poor Jason is like, what on earth is happening? Know, Listen, thank you so much for being <laughs> here. Totally thank enjoys it. Man. And we're gonna we're Respect gonna tuck this, into that. Yeah. Loving this as well. Um all right then, Jason. We'll see you very soon. Big thank you to Jason Howard, everyone. Yeah, Jason. Respect yes. Respect. Uh, now uh, still to come, I got more with these two funny guys. I'll see you in part six. See ya. <laughs>